Today, we're talking about the five laws of stratospheric success. Guys, it's the actions that we take today that will determine our rewards. Hey guys, I'm Armando LaDuke. And I'm Brett Thomas. What an episode we have for you today. About two or three weeks ago, Armando recommended a book to me. Ooh. The name of the book is called The Go-Giver by Bob Berg and John Mann. Mm. We're going to give you the breakdown of the laws that are talked about in this book. So don't, don't just use this video as cliff notes. No, definitely not. You definitely want to read the book or get an audio book. Yeah, and it's a fantastic story too. So it's, it's, one of these, it's one of the stories like The Alchemist, which is another book you should read, um, that are giving you like the laws of success through a story. Right. And so I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed listening to it. But what it did for me was... I had always approached, I guess, business from a what's in it for me. Right, money making. Hey, yeah, we're, we're make gonna money. make money. We're gonna make money. We're gonna make money. I read this book, right, The Go Giver, and it just changed my entire paradigm. I agree. It 180 did, degrees. Did the same for me. Um, let's just jump right in. Let's jump right. right in. So the five laws of stratospheric success. Now it's not just the five laws of success. There are people that can be successful without doing these five laws. Right. All right, but they're not going to be as happy and they're not going to be as successful. And the five laws of stratospheric success start off with the first law, which is I, I think is the most important, and that is the law of value. The law of value states that you should always give more in value than you receive in payment. Mm -hmm. And I know that sounds kind of, uh, what's the word? Counterintuitive. Counterintuitive, right, right. right. You always, you're in business, uh, you, you start your own business because you want to make money, right? Right. But... What has been found throughout the ages is that you cannot be successful unless you help other people. And this law, the law of value, encompasses that, that you should always give more value than you receive in payment. For instance, I've been doing drone footage for a client. He's doing uh, billboards. Mm -hmm. And he was a little bit more picky than I thought he was going to be. And I went ahead and I, you know, I did, I did the project and we ended up having to redo it. I was pretty upset about it, <laughs> you know, but I was like, you know, at the end of the day, it's his video. You know, I, what I think looks good may not be what he thinks looks good, right? And right. at the end of the day, it's his project, it's his video, it's how he wants to do it. And I had to put my ego in the back seat and go, you know what? Let me not worry about that. Yes, is it going to take me a lot longer now, double the time, maybe triple the time to do the job that he wants me to do and up to his specifications? Yes, it did. However, in the long run, he ended up giving me more advertising, Right as mm -hmm. as a result, and he's going to recommend me to other businesses. Right. So had I had I just went, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it this way, and that's it. And you 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 deal with it, sir. Like, I mean, even though we were doing a trade, you know, and it was a trade, giving more and saying, you know what, it felt you're good, right. Didn't it? it did. It did it feel great. good. It recently happened to me. I, I had a client uh, built a website. Uh, when I went in to sell the website, he showed me a website. He said I want it to look just like this. I said, just like that. That's what you want. Yes. So I built the website almost identical. There's no way he could complain. Right. When I went in, he looked at it. He said, oh, this is beautiful. This is exactly what I wanted. He wrote me a check for the final payment. <laughs> he said, let's go live. One week later, I get a call from his wife. I hate it. I come to find out it's because she she built she built the, uh, the original website. She felt, I guess she felt slighted. But uh, I said, well, no problem. I'm going to come in. I'm going to meet with you, and we'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. The next day, the dentist calls me himself. He says, Brett, just, this is making my life a living hell. Just put the old website back up. You keep the money. You did a good job. But, and I'm a little too proud for that. And I remember this law. I had just read the book, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let this happen. I'm going to come in. I'm going to talk to your wife. We will make it right. I don't care what I have to do. So I went in and met with the, with the lady. And she was a very, very nice lady. I guess she just was, was uh, proud of her work, and she didn't want it to just go away. Right. So I made her feel like, hey, you know what? Let's redo the whole site. Let's make it your. And you know what she wanted? What she shit? just wanted to change some colors and move this around. Something that took me about 30 minutes max to, to, to fix. And now I have a client. Both. That, that is, are happy. Right. Both of them are happy. Now I have a client that, that's going to say, this guy bent over backwards to help, help us out. And how easy would it have been in the beginning for me to just say, great, and switch it back to the old site and just keep his money. 
but that's the law of value. Always right. give more in value than you receive in payment. And now I have a phenomenal uh, referral. I have a phenomenal, uh, amazing testimonial right. now that I can use. So it, it, it always it, it's always a good idea. So yeah. keep that in mind. What what do they need? What do they want? Put yourself in their shoes. And when you think about it in those terms and you get away from yourself and you get away from what you want. And I mean, Zig Ziglar talks about this too. You know, uh, mm-hmm. do you know Zig Ziglar? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So if you're not following Zig Ziglar, I know he passed away, but read his books. It's ama- how to close a sale. Amazing. And he always talks about that. You know, think about your think about your customer first. Put yourself in their shoes. You know, help enough people get what they want, and then you'll get what you want. Absolutely. Right. The second law of stratospheric success. What is it? The law of compensation. Compensation. Your income is in direct relation to how many people you serve and how many people you serve. Well, yeah, you can't just serve people. You can't. Not 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 nowadays, especially with the competition, especially with how much, you know, things are growing and how fast things are growing. There there's just so much competition out there. What separates you from your competition is how well you're serving your clients, mm-hmm. right? Mhm. I mean, I I got a great example of this. Uh in fact, this happened Yesterday, I was at the bank, and right. they told me I needed to go home and get something and bring it back so that I can finish the transaction. So uh, this wasn't my bank. This was uh, this was a client's bank, a customer's bank. So I ran home. I, I got what I had to get. I came back. The bank closed at 5.30. I was there at 5.28, and I'm jogging up to the front door. The guy saw me, jumped out of his desk, ran up to the door, and locked it. <laughs> and with a big grin on his face, he said, sorry, come back tomorrow. Man. Man. I will never do business with that bank. And that's a, a great example of that. How many people do you serve, but how many people do you serve well? And if that guy would have just went out of his way to help me, who knows, I, uh, I may have even opened up a, an account with him. Yeah, well, I've got an example um, that happened to me last week. I did a, um, I did a webinar on how to get an agent for, for actors. And I put out... I put out this webinar, started promoting it on Facebook, and this was my first webinar. I had done seminars before, but this was something that was new, Mm -hmm. and I'm learning the whole process about how to market on social media and doing internet-based marketing. So I put this webinar together, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to put, you know, how to get an agent, right? Because it's always something that actors are worried about, especially when you're first starting. I put it out, and in one day, I had 100-something people sign up by the end of it, I had a week to promote. 300 people wow. signed up. That's impressive. Yeah. And then I did the webinar, and I had five people sign up for the package, mm-hmm. right, for, for my course. But what's more important to me, everybody right. loved it. Everybody I was, watched it. it was yeah, good. everybody right. was emailing me, thank you so much. I really needed this. I really appreciate that. And so now I have an email base of people that trust me. I've given away something for free, which is knowledge. And knowledge is always easy to give away, but it's super valuable, Mm -hmm. right? And so now if I have, which I'm going to be creating an online course called Acting the Biz, it's a complete program on breaking into the acting business. So it's a little plug for you. What happened was once I started giving away stuff, I started receiving stuff. And a lot more... Like magic. Yeah, it was, I, I received a lot more than I gave, you know, and I thought I was giving a lot. Right, and the key to that, too, the key to that is not to expect in return. Right. Not, not, not to play the tit-for-tat game. Yeah. You have to genuinely give and, and expect nothing in return. The third law of stratospheric success. Number three. Is the law of influence. And your influence is directly determined by how well you place others first. It doesn't even have to be in business. It doesn't have to be... It's just, this is a life-changing thing. This is a, a lifestyle. Place others first, and your influence will be... I'm going to tell you that this, this and, and this is when it changed my life. This is when I, um, I really started noticing a difference. Was after I read this book, what I started to do in my emails and in my outreach and in my cold calls, when I started putting the other person first... And I was, and I had met with some people. Every time I go into a business now, I'm thinking about how can I help them make money? What can I do in their marketing campaigns? How can I create videos? And not just 
these business profile videos that everybody has. You know, nowadays welcome videos are are really big now. When when somebody visits the website mm-hmm. and they click and go, "Hey, you guys, welcome to, you know, a Acme, you know, concrete." You know, I'm the owner. This is what we do, yada, yada. So these, like, introductory videos are becoming super popular. Thank you videos when they buy, Mm -hmm. you know, when they buy your product, sending them a thank you video and all of these things. And so when you start educating your clients on what you do well Mm -hmm. and you go, look, I'm going to I'm going to be here for you, not just to create a video and then I'm out and then you, you know, you can forget about me. I want you to call me. I want you to ask me questions. If there's anybody I can put you in contact with that's going to help you further your business, let me do that for you. For instance, I have a bookkeeper who who changed my life. Her name is Candy. She runs Cremerica. If you guys are looking for bookkeeping and you guys don't want to do all of the bookkeeping yourselves, which I'm terrible at bookkeeping, she's changed so many businesses because she knows what she's doing with QuickBooks and she gets all of your books ready for taxes and get it, gets it all ready. So... I put her in contact with people all of the time. I mean, she saved me so much money and she saved me so much time. Mm -hmm. And those people, if you can connect them with other people that will save them money and increase their business, you're going to be on that wave with them. Mm -hmm. It just rise. You you just start rising and everybody knows you as the person. Be a collector. Yeah. A collector of friends and business. Absolutely. Not, Not just collect business associates. Make these people your friend. And the way to do that is to serve them and serve them well. And place them first. Yes. The fourth law mm-hmm. is the law of authenticity. Authenticity. Now, you can do all these things, but if you come across as as fake or insincere. A charlatan. All right. Then, then, I like the word charlatan. Charlatan. That is an interesting word. Yeah. But if you come across as a charlatan, mm. then. A you, snake oil salesman, all, if you all will. All of this is for nothing because people won't trust you. They don't trust you. Right. So what you have to do is realize that the most valuable gift you have to give is you. Is you. Armando, you're a videographer and mm-hmm. producer. Is that what you is that your gift? No. I've got many that's gifts. Not, that's not that, <laughs> no, that's not your gift. You okay. I'm a web designer. Right. My gift is not a website. Any kid that knows anything about computers can build True. a website nowadays. You can build a free website on Wix and Squarespace. But why do people pay me thousands of dollars to do what I do? It's not because of the website. It's because of me. Right. It's because of what I do. It's the feeling. After. It's because of what I give of myself. When these people call me at 1130 at night because they have a question about their website, I pick up the phone. It's not a, send me an email and I'll get back to you in 24 hours. Mm-hmm. You have to give of yourself and be available to your clients and your friends. Be there for them. How many people have you met that have become friends? Hundreds. Right. From Hun- from just hundreds. from just, you know, doing doing good business mm-hmm. and them being extremely happy with you. You know, I I just am so shocked by the amount of entrepreneurs that think that they can just put together something fast and just call it a day. Next. Yeah, right. call it a day, collect the money and roll out. But I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe that's just a 20-year-old thinking. The, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. No, nah, I wouldn't say the millennials. I don't want to put them I don't want to put the millennials on blast cuz it's one of those things that when understand. we grew up, everybody all the old people were all like, "They're kids these days." I mean, we were always going to have the kids these days. And millennials, you already when y'all get to our age and older, y'all are going to be like, "The kids these days," you know? Like so it's uh it's 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 weird, but nothing takes on value until compared to something else, mm-hmm. right? And I've known that there, there's a lot of people that are doing video. There's a lot of producers out there creating. However, when they work with me and they have the experience that they have when they work with me, they won't go back. Oh, I, I, you know? I, I can't tell you how many. I, I have many, many, many uh, clients today that actually switched away from me because I was a little bit more expensive. They found something cheaper, mm. and they and they said, "Sorry, Brett, we 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 found something less expensive." And they went with another company, and within six months, they're calling me back with their tail between their legs, saying, "Hey, um, these guys don't answer the phone, or when when they do, it's a company in India, and I can't, you know, or I'm just not getting the service that I got with you." Right. So that goes back to giving of yourself. If you treat them first, if you give of yourself, if you always give more value and give of yourself than you what you receive, you can't help but be successful. I, I, it's just ma- magic. It happens. I can 
tell you stories and stories and stories and stories for days. But I am going to tell you this last story real fast. We created a nonprofit last year called Playing It Back. Mm. And we yep. raised money for all the hurricane that victims. Was awesome. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> I was sitting in a hotel room in Atlanta when, when these hurricanes were hitting. I was like, we got to do something, especially because I was living here in New Orleans when uh, Katrina hit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I, I know what it feels like. Let's do something. you know. So I ended up calling some bands that I knew. We decided that we were going to give our services mm-hmm. as you know as entertainers. You called a website guy. And I called a web designer. <laughs> we found a venue, and everybody, it just caught fire. Everybody, everything just. Everybody like wanted to be, just... everybody wanted to be involved. Mm-hmm. We ended up raising $30,000 our first yeah. year, worked with the Cajun Navy. And I got to tell you, we I spent hours on this. Like mm-hmm. I spent hours putting this together and trying to find silent auctions and you know all the logistics and producing, you know, but what I got out of it is I, I have I have people in my corner at all times. I can make a phone call and yep. anything I need, it's there. But you didn't do it for that. No, I didn't. Yeah, absolutely not. That wasn't it was just a side effect. Right. You know what I mean? Like magic. Like, like magic. magic. The fifth law of stratospheres. Ooh, I feel like this is this is a super important law because people forget about this. Right. The law of receptivity, in a nutshell, it means to be open to receive the gifts mm-hmm. that you're gonna get because of the first four laws. So like I said, like magic. Things just start happening for you, and you need to be able to accept those things. Yeah, people <laughs> don't. People, I don't know what it is. I, maybe it's how they grew up, but they have a hard time accepting help. They have a hard time just accepting. Period. Mm-hmm. You know, if there's money or you know, it's like, well, yeah, just receive it as keep that flow open. Then they mm-hmm. talk about that in the book. It's a flow, you know, as you're giving, you're receiving. And it's that. that- it reminds me of a parable. In, in fact, the priest at, at our church said this, and, and it goes directly into this. Um, there was a hurricane. Mm-hmm. There was a guy on the roof, and, he, and he's praying to <laughs> yeah. God, please help me, please save me. And just about that time, a guy in a little flat boat pulls up, and he's like, come on, jump on in. And he says, no, I'm praying to God. God's going to save me. All right. And the guy in the flat boat leaves. And then a guy in a, a speedboat comes by, and he goes, hey, jump on in. No, God's going to save me. The helicopter comes by, and he says, get on the ladder. And he says, God's going to save me. Yeah. And then the water rose, and he died, and he got up to heaven. And he says, God, why didn't you save me? He said, well, I sent two boats and a helicopter. What more do you want? <laughs> Absolutely. Right? So yeah, be people open forget. to receive the gifts that you receive and recognize them as gifts. And you're worth it. You are worth receiving these gifts. If you are putting yourself out there, giving value, giving more of yourself, and, and just giving, period, then you'll be okay. You'll you'll feel okay to receive, and it's fine. You know, you just have to you just have to keep that in mind and understand that it's a flow. It can't be just one way. It's got to be two ways. Because the more you receive, the more you can give. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you can find me at LaDukeEntertainment.com. and you can find me at RhinoPM.com. My name's Armando, and I'm Brett. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe below, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>